Thank you very much. Welcome back to the show. Joining us now, we have 21-year-old author Adam Rendon. Yes, yes, thank yes. you. Adam, author. you're laughing already, which I, is I'm amazing. Laughing. Author yes, of yes, the book yes. Valley, spelled V-A-L-L-I-E. Yes. That's because that's a lie. That's, that's there's a tell us plenty the background. Of lies. Uh, background of the book. Uh, growing up, uh, as a child, I lived in a family of four. My father was an abusive alcoholic, and I was the baby of the family, and I seen everything, but I never told anybody about anything. So as I started growing up, I, I started to lie, make up lies after lies, just so people won't know my background. You're not supposed to, right? Yeah, so we moved, we moved from the area that we were in to a better place to hide from my father, and since then it was just lie after lie. And the basis of the book is just the walkthrough of how the lie progressed and how the lie fell apart. In high school, uh, some dramatic things happened and my story started to fall apart from beginning to end and I just told everybody what was going on and that opened a lot of eyes. Everyone thought I was perfect and they, they realized like, that wasn't the case. Well, when you say you, you were perfect, not mm -hmm. certainly you're, you're, you were perfect, but yeah, your yeah. story just it, it was too perfect. Yeah, it was, it was the perfect, perfect little story, yeah, the perfect exactly. little house, and there was other things going on. Yeah. My question is, how was your mom able to hide and 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 do like make these moves? Mm. How were you all worked together on this? Of course, right? The family. No, actually, no. Um, my my family lived their life as they as they were living. Some people knew about the abuse, but a lot of people didn't believe about it. Um, with me, most of my lives were just in school. So I was I became popular, and I I didn't want anybody to know any imperfections right. I had. What were some of your best lies? Best lies that I was uh, I was going to be on MTV in the show Made. Really? I concocted that lie, and that's actually what threw me up there in the in the status of high school. Everyone wanted to be my friends because they wanted to be on the show. I made fake contracts, and it just went oh, wow, into that. You were that a gifted depth. liar. Yeah, you yeah. really took it far. You could and get a job on this show. <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> uh, that that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, it was just I'm telling so the truth. so detailed in, in everything that you, I tried to do. You had all the details yeah, going, and yeah. you were able to keep track of the lies. Yes. Do you think you're a pathological well. liar? No, no. That was only in high school. But I, just a story test. Do you think you grew out of that? Yeah, definitely. I have you no one to impress anymore. How and do we know you're not lying? Uh, I, I, I don't think anybody would want to put their life on blast like that. That's true. Especially That's true. for me to uh, tell people that I was sexually abused by two female neighbors sure. at the age of six. It's very different than saying I was on maid. Yeah, yeah. De definitely different than that. They were watching you? Who was watching me? The two female neighbors were they no, doing they, your care or they were they were just neighbors and I was friends with their son and I got home from school one day and he invited me over and from there trusting him is what they what they used to to basically tie me up to a chair and do things to me. The worst yeah. part about that is they also used the son in the acts of it. You know, you have to find pain. Yeah. Pain humor comes from pain. Oh, yeah, There's definitely. so many people that have been abused and definitely. so many people who would never come out mm -hmm. the way you have and yeah. to be so young and to do that mm -hmm. has probably opened the doors for so many has, young yes. kids mm -hmm. to say it's okay to say my life is not perfect. Yeah. You know, it's like your mom's an or your dad's an alcoholic, your mom's an alcoholic and the excuse is my mom's sick. She's sick today. She can't be at the PTA yeah. meeting. I was late for school because my mom was sick. Mm -hmm. My dad was sick. Why are you black and blue? I fell down the stairs. I mean, do you have any examples that you can give us that you did in your ballet? Um, as far as <laughs> any, any abuse, I, the only proof I, I really had was uh, my father, one day I, I got home and they were, they were all eating and I, I was in the after school program so I got home a little late. And the first thing he did was like, why are you late? I sat at the table and he hurled a, a cup towards my face. And it left me a couple marks and then he slapped me. So after doing that, I mean, I went to school with kind of a, some bruising and stuff and my sister trying to conceal it and stuff. And obviously I'm a kid, I'm always gonna be wiping my face. And one of the teachers asked me like, what happened? I fell. And realistically, you don't fall at that angle the way the, the bruise was. And it's just, you, you can tell that the teacher really wanted to say something, but there's people who don't want to get involved. So there's people who know about certain things that go around, but they just don't want to get involved. So they don't ask or further the, the statement of what was said. Well, I have to tell you, to be so young wow. with the wealth of talent you have to offer, we look forward to seeing and hearing more from you. Sweet. Yes, thanks for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you for having me. we got to take a break. We will be right back. Adam Rendon, right? Gotcha.